Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for part 25 of our War Tales playthrough. I'm still super into this game and I'm just looking for excuses to continue playing it. So here we are back at it again. What we're going to do is we're going to go clear out. Uh, let's go take on Kagal, Ghost of Harag again. We do have a pretty good troop of people, so we should be able to take it on fairly easily. The big thing is, is just like how we fought him last time. We need to take out a few of the animals first, so that way we can kind of clear the field. And then from there, just kind of take down Kagal as quickly as we can. What I'm curious about here with Kagal, though, is if we can get another one of his bows. If we can get a bow like that on multiple characters, on multiple mercenaries, it might prove to be incredibly powerful. I'm good. There's some wood up here we can grab, too. Very nice. But as always, guys, thank you so much for tuning in for another vi video in this series of War Tales. Looking forward to more, uh, you know, more games in the future here. But we're kind of in a period right now where there's not a lot of. Not a lot of not a lot words, not a lot of games coming out right now. So. Looks like Kagal is actually not here. So it looks like that was bugged. That that quest is a little bit bugged. Bandits over there. Oh, you know what I just realized? It's got one of those skulls there. I bet we can reduce the strength of the bandit towers in the area by taking those out. That makes sense. But uh looks like this this task is just straight up bugged. Kagal is not even here. So, okay, that makes a lot more sense. I thought that was weird, but I was kind of hoping we could fight him again anyway. It would have been kind of overpowered if we can get multiple of those boss weapons. Plus, if that were the case, of course, then that would have to definitely go for more of the boss weapons otherwise, too. But I guess we're going to go down to Dark Mist Tower instead. If you haven't left a like on the video already, please make sure you do so. So that way YouTube will recommend the video to more like-minded folks. I really appreciate it. Let's see this Dark Mist Tower. I... I you know, I just correlated that whole idea with the bandit uh, camps as well, because I saw the little skull. I guess I overlooked that before. It was pretty easy to, but. Let's make a save. It's only one skull here on this, so we should be okay. Level five. Let's do it. Oh, I'm so sad that Kagal is not there. I was really hoping for another boss fight. Okay, where are we? This Marauder has Fragility on it. I guess we get Regit on that. I think we get Regit on that, and then maybe we can move him closer to... At least hit these two guys, if not both of these Poachers. I think that's the play. We need to make sure that Hypenus remains safe, so let's keep him in the back. Let's put Tryroll over there. We don't really need this many people on this side, do we? Maybe get Sessor Thude involved over here. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it's okay. I guess I, it's just, I have so many people in my in my mercenary band now. It's kind of nuts. Enjoy that. I think I would rather take out the uh, archer here. He's the, also the one that's going to be going the soonest. Nice. Right, who's going to be up next? This hoodlum here? So maybe we get you involved right on over here.
A little bit of that. We get a little bit of laceration. Very nice. We're already galvanized. <laughs> Alright, this Marauder... All we can do is get nicked over here. Throw a poison vial so we're not hurting ourselves. Throw a poison knife. So oh, nice. Soften them up a little bit there. Yeah, that's good stuff. Let's say Gabna can get over here and get a hit in too, but only three enemies left. Who's going next? All right, we need to take out that poacher next then. There you go. Nope. We are going to kill you all. Sorry. All right, let's put you next to Regit. You want to always put your ally next to an ally because she ends up getting brut brutality, which gives her 30% more damage. Which is always good. Get you right on this side. Hit him with a piercing arrow. Crit? Oh, don't even need to crit. Damn, arrow in the eyeball. Jeez. There's only one guy left and he's right here. Can you reach him? No, you cannot. Can anyone reach him? I mean, he's going to die next turn no matter what. I was just hoping to kind of one turn this, but I mean, I guess we technically do. I just didn't want to take damage, but you know, job's done. Great pig iron. Iron torque trinket. All right, easy peasy there. Let's take this stuff. Oh, we actually never looked at this before. It's been a minute since I've done any lock picking. I think it's right here. No? Where the hell is it? There it is. Doctor's mask. Troop bonus is a chance to heal the second injury of an adjacent companion. Interesting. Adjustable straps, movement plus one. Also cool. And then military report knowledge plus one. Okay. That's nice. That's nice. I didn't know that was even here. Well, looks like nothing else is here. So job's done, I guess. Okay. So let me go ahead and look at this. Um, I've been kind of beating myself up about not having... Like an axe we can do or something, but. I think we're just going to hold on to this knowledge instead of just spending it. Because we can just kind of. Use it on something important when we need it. Hmm. Yeah.
Yeah. Still leaning towards like an axe or something. So we can make level five axes, but not a big deal either way right now. Still sad that we can't fight Kagal again. That would have been cool. You know what? Let's take one of these out. We have a bunch of carcasses we can use. And then one, two, three. All right, Hypenis is almost level three. Moving it along. All right, let's talk to you. Turn in this task. Review. What else do we have? The Vanian gang. We'll take it. All right, there we go. Oh, these guys changed out again. Uh, Lambacrick is a spearman. Seleft, another uh, swordsman. Brutes. Okay, this is what we need. Uh, because the brute can use the uh, one-handed mace and become heavy. So we can give them destroyer as well. Or we could give them something medium armor-wise. Bonus charge disengages and charges a straight line. Deals 6 damage to all units in their path and applies slowdown. And then poison impact. Deals 13 damage to all units in the area. Applies 2 poisons to bleeding units. Okay, to bleeding units. This applies fever. Not bleed. In any way. So... I don't know about that. I would still think I make them a heavy so we can have another tank on the field. If I had like, mm, if this did, like did something with bleed, like obviously her weapon applies bleed or no. I think it's the other two-handed hammers that can apply bleed. So that would go really well with that, but that's not the case here. Of course, we don't have that knowledge whatsoever. I would have to actually learn Iron Beck to Corbin, and then I would be able to have to craft one to be able to learn how to make this. And so that's not really going to be worth that there. So yeah, we're going to make her a heavy. Let's go ahead and hire you. Companions doubt she's up to the task. Do not doubt her. She'll be fine. All right, we have four people there. Okay, you're kind of out of place here, aren't you? Uh, We can just kind of have you there so you're feeling good about yourself or something. I don't know. Give that to you. We need to make you... um. A destroyer. Oh, you know what as well? Because if we make her a destroyer with weakening blow and we keep her next to... Uh, who are you? Where are you? If we keep her next to Kath, who has this, if they're already weakened, also applies vulnerability, we could take down some incredibly powerful enemies with them combined. Incredibly powerful enemies. All right, and then this. Defensive stance. Valorous chain. Every time you attack... 
you can attack several enemies you gain one valor point now nah, every time this unit engages in combat you gain one valor point i think yeah let's give you valorous duel why would you want critical hit I mean, okay. You want critical hit again? That's depressing. But whatever. All right. And then we need to make you wear a heavy armor. I don't have any more heavy armor. Can you put on this for now? Yes. We need to make you a shield. Don't know if I have what it takes to make the shield, though. I actually do. All right, so we are expanding our uh, mercenary band here pretty rapidly. Pretty rapidly. We'll just have to buy her a nice heavy armor when we find one. Or just save up enough to make that happen at some point regardless. Go ahead and take that. You have medium armor for now. This is okay. This is alright. Well, you actually have taunt as well. Oh, you know what's going to be huge? We can go back to... Uh, <laughs> we can go back to Smots Arena... Uh, Margangia? That's a heck of a name. Um, that's one heck of a name. So we can use Taunt to engage and inflict Weakening on someone nearby. And then if we level up Weakening Blow using the, the skill up thing from Smots Arena, Weakening Blow will also apply Vulnerability. And then after that, we hit them with Forceful Interrogation. Or, you know, whoever that can really hit a powerful blow afterward. I feel like I should change this name, though. That's a, that's a bit of a mouthful. Let's go with old Marge. Let's go with Marge. Everyone, welcome Marge to the uh, the Mercenary Band. Leave a comment. Say, welcome, Marge. Welcome, Marge the Destroyer. Nice. Nice. Okay. I'm excited. I'm very excited for this. I need to sell a couple things. Don't need that business. We also have... No, where's Cesar there? There you are. Guard increased by 5% whenever they're... I, I feel like... You'd be better with adjustable straps so you can actually move a little more. And then... Just to kind of get you going, let's give you more guard. We got another backpack accessory as well. Where is that? Right there. Has a chance to heal the second injury of an adjacent champion. The second injury of an adjacent champion... Uh, I feel like we should put that on Uralai just because she's always with one of the tanks. Where are you, Uralai? There you are. Put that there for you. Also need to get some armor layers going, too. There's so many things that I still have to do. There's so many things. Uh, but what we need to do now is just kind of go buy some salt at the market. See if one of them has it on sale now. Go ahead and buy all your pork. Take your beans. Take a little more salt from you too. I guess I need to get more apples soon too. Do you have apples, sir? Any apples? No? All right, now back to the inn. I'm really excited that we got that. Um... Let's talk to you. See if you have anything about traveling to the north. No? Okay. So, with that said, 
I think we're just going to go out and see if we can find uh, that bandit group that was up this way and take them out. I think they were up this way. And then from here, we just make our way back to Stromcap and basically keep doing our loop. But also, we're going to take out these other little uh, bandits that we can find as well. These roaming bandits. I start grabbing all the iron that I can grab as well. Okay, so at this point, I mean, we're not hurting for influence, but our influence is much lower than it was just a little while ago so we're gonna just go ahead and save up on that for a while too hey there friends hey guys if you made it to this point in the video leave a like honestly youtube will recommend it to more like-minded folks pretty please i really appreciate it Right, we don't want that hammer. Inquisition Great Axe. I do like the Inquisition Great Axe, but the boss weapon that we have is even cooler. Oh, shoot. You know what I just thought? We need to give you a profession. Probably going to give you... Um... I think Constitution's the play. I'm not going to recruit anyone else, but I'm just curious. Okay, that hasn't changed at all. We need to inform you, right? Okay, we need to inform Marheim still. We can trade Korsha to Pottery. I guess that's it for this area. Let's go buy some pottery from Baron. And then, do you have apples? You do! Do we also need grapes? Yes. Do we need mutton? We have 15. Let's buy all your mutton. We have 12 days worth of food and that's uncooked. All right. So from here, we just need to go back up to uh, Marheim so we can inform and then accept tasks in the area and get to leveling our friends. We're going to have to camp in a minute, too. Talk to these guys before we camp. All right. Of course, the wages pop up now, but that's okay. We have to pay two fifty-two per cycle now. Nuts.
And maybe you will have a heavy armor. No. Nope. Lots of iron there, but we're not going to buy it for now. All right, now that we're up here in the kingdom of Gossenberg, let's see about informing the people in Marheim and then accepting some tasks to take out some bandits and stuff. Of course, I need to go to Smots Arena as well so we can pick up uh, some skill, skill books too. I realistically should just get enough to level up everyone's skills may as well informant there you go sir kind of addicted to getting people into our mercenary band now <laughs> All right, there's two rat infestations here. And then Vinchel's squad is hard as well. Man, there's just... Can we... Let's just cancel this. So that way another contract will pop up there. Hmm. We could try it. Screw it. We'll see how it goes. Um, what else was I going to do here? Is there something I need to do here? No? Okay, we just got to go to Smots Arena. We have to go that way anyway, so... If we can't end up... Uh, or, you know, if anyone dies, of course, we can just save scum it. I don't know how many of you guys feel bad about save scumming, but I'm not looking to do like some weird challenge run or anything as I'm still learning the game and everything, so I'm not too concerned. Damn, all these guys have is food, which, you know, isn't a bad thing to have on the road, of course, but oftentimes these, one of these guys will have like heavy armor and a sword or something, but none of that right now. Okay. Let's see about how many of these we need. We need one for hypeness eventually. Uh, did we level you up already? Kind of hard to tell. There's no way to tell if it's leveled up. Yeah, whatever. We'll see how many they have. You have 10. Buying all 10 would be 3,000. Let's not do that. Let's buy three to start. And use one on Marge right away for weakening blow. Okay, we did one for Cessor Thud. We can improve Recoil Shot. We already did one for you. Did we improve Poison Vial? I guess we did. We do right between their eyes. Okay, so we did that. Let's buy a couple more. Can't, we, we can't worry about your Originia right now. We upgraded yours. We can upgrade Gabna's Encouragement. Okay, so uh, protection for three rounds instead of two. Let's hold off on that one. 
Smoke screen pushes people away. We already did weakening blow for Kath. We just did for Marge. We already did spear wall. Okay, so let's do encouragement then. And then... Hold on. I think Hacker's the last one, right? Just double checking. We'll need one eventually for Hypenus as well, whenever he gets level three. So we're going to go ahead and use this one on Hacker. Then buy one more, so that way when he gets leveled up and has his own ability, we'll have one there for him. We just bombed a bunch of money there, but it's worth it because everyone's skills are even better. Can't go wrong with having more utility. Especially at this point where we have free money. Okay, we need these guys to come closer to us. They're just moving further away. Okay, I need to kind of get away from them. I don't want to be ambushed. There we go. You're pretty close to level three. You should actually get that off this fight. No, no, no. Come here. You punks. They're right there, and I can't actually get them to come my way. They're just on their own little path. Walk this way. Oh, there we go. Now, this is hard difficulty and they're level four? Hmm. I thought for the harder stuff it would scale them up, but I guess not. Vinchal the Pummeler is right there, so we need to just make sure that we nuke him with our man Regit. And we have a bomber back there with a henchman there. Two bombers and a raider there. No one down this way. And then these three here. Okay, Kath, you're right there with Nick and Uruli. That's about right. Gabna, Hypenus, Hackert, Silelt. Cesarthud. I mean, we just we're we got Marge over here. We're looking good. Let's, uh, let's see about just taking out the leader. Eighty-three. He's guaranteed dead from here. But we're already engaged in combat, so yeah. Let's just let's just super kill him. So that way they lose the bonus there. Happy about that one. Right, let's move you back here so that way you're not getting targeted. Let's try out Marge. Let's try it out. First things first, we want to taunt you. And since you're already taunted, let's apply vulnerability. And now, forceful interrogation. Oh, you got fevered right away. Oh, well. Ah. 
put a Gabna there. Oh well. Put you there. Team strike a little bit of bonus damage. Oh damn, the encouragement field is also really big. So encouragement or encouragement is gonna be really good when we're fighting like uh like the the nightmares, the rats. They just they'll just do less damage when when there's so many of them. So that's gonna be huge. Torch Strike is going to hit them both. I don't want to do that there. Okay. Let's see about getting... Well, they're going to... Hmm. Yeah, let's just go take out this bomber. <laughs> it's so good because the, the strength difference is just it's it's easy damage it's just insanely easy damage all right uh, i mean let's just poke the bomber Bomber's turn is coming up, and I would love to make it so they don't do damage, but I don't think there's really a way to do that. Aside from just send Nicked all the way down here. Twenty nine to fifty one. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, recoil shot hurts so much now. I love that. All right, Silo can actually get over here and lock this bomber down. So let's do that. Might even just kill him outright. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Yep. Marge is already super tanky. Love to see that. That's good. All right, this guy's the last one he's got fragility on. Can I just one shot him here? No, not quite. Very close, though. I really do think that Kath and Uralai are a great combo, which is going to be Hypenus, and then one of the other tanks is going to be a great combo, too. There's a stylish bow. What's this? Oh, it's a silk glove. Hypenus leveled up. Love to see it. All right, we wanted to give you Hypooner, right? Hypooner. <laughs> Okay, so I mixed up this guy's name and Harpooner, so we're renaming Hypenus to Hypooner. Very nice. Everyone welcome Hypooner to the uh to the the squad. Yep, very good, very good. Well done, sir. Clap clap. Clap clap. You want movement? We'll give you movements. All right, now we can put some other armor on him too. So let's do that. Don't I have something else for him armor-wise or 
No, I thought I kept the medium armor around for him. I th think I sold it off like a dummy. Yeah. We'll figure that out when we get back to town. Hi, Pooner. Nice. There's some wood up there I should grab before heading back to. Ooh, what is this? I can get up that way. I guess not. Yeah, it's really going to make me go all the way around. I could use one of the pitons, but... Oh, you know what? Shout out to the guy that taught me how to pronounce that. I, In my life experience, I've never had to even say the word before. I've seen it, you know in books and stuff like that, but I've never actually had to say it out loud before. So I was over here saying Pitten, Python. Turns out it's Piton. This whole time. Oh, there's something back here. What is this? Skill mastery book. I mean, you know, I guess we'll have an extra one for whenever we hire more mercenaries. So I guess I'm just going to start taking uh, hard difficulty tasks as well. And we just kind of clear out everything in every area aside from... I'm sure we could... I, I'm sure these plague rat nests and the nightmare things, nightmare hunts are easier than I'm thinking they are. If these are, but I don't want to take any risks with them all the same right now. So we're just holding on to those until we get these three new mercenaries to level five. I mean, if I had known that skill mastery book was back there, you know? Oh, you know what? Speaking of skill mastery book. Um. Oh, right. Okay, so... Deals 11 damage to all units in the area. Applies bleeding to the first unit hits. Okay, and this will apply bleeding to all units in the area now. Okay. Cool. There we go. Not Mother Bear. All right. Spices times four and Strom Cap. Renyon Grass Gang. And then Rounds Troop. Okay, uh, we need a medium armor. This guy still has strange tubers from earlier in the game in his pockets here. Let me see. He didn't have the armor that I'm looking for. We need to buy spices, I think, from Cathets. I said four of them. exit out of there let's go ahead and save and then let's see about rounds troop up there and then we have this other one all the way down here the renin renin grass or whatever i keep telling myself to stop spending influence but you know This one over here is hard difficulty as well. So we'll see how this goes. The last one was level four. I'd imagine some of them are going to be level five. All right. Wish me luck. Level four as well. 
Legionaries, Sappers, Duelists, and then Round the Scarred, Commander. As always, guys, if you've made it to this point in the video, do me a favor, leave a like on it, so that way YouTube will recommend it to more folks. I really appreciate the, uh, the support on the channel. It means everything to me. All right, Round the Scarred is right there. There's Hypooner. Hypooner. All right, Mr. Regit, we're going to have you go nuke that guy. I'm starting to wonder if Regit is not the best for opening up. No, he has to be because he's got the additional damage. And if they happen to be... Yeah, I, I still think he might be. Oh, he's still the best as far as that goes. Uh, Nick, Tiralai... We have our archers all huddled up over here. Kath, we need your ally with Kath. Which means we need another tank over there. Let's get Marge over here. Good old Marge. We'll put Silo over on this side as well. Let's get Hypooner here behind Marge. Got Gabna here. Sister Thude there. Yeah, I think this is good. Let's just go all in on round here. Yep. <laughs> yeah, he's still he's still a very good opener. And then I think we just get him on this duelist to get him started. Oh, amazing. Very, very, very nice. Very, very, very nice. Okay. Who's the next one that's going to attack? That sapper down there, huh? All right, I can't quite get to that sapper, but Kath can definitely get to this archer and just smash him. I mean, you just can't go wrong with that. Just a nice mace to the face, you know? All right, Yurali can't get over here to attack in time. So who's going to be going next? This Sapper? This Legionary right here. Let's try this combo again. Ah, dude, I'm getting unlucky because the fever's apply applying on the very first hit every time. That's really unfortunate. We're just not seeing good damage on that mace because of that right now. It only has a 20% chance on the first go to make that happen, too. It's unfortunate that it happened that way. Uh, I think right about here is what we want. And we'll have you step back over this way. Uh, let's see about maybe getting Sessor through here. Nope, just out of range. Okay, so it goes through them. Okay, I get it. I'm seeing this now. I 
Right, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. A little bit of knowledge on that. It's good damage. I don't want to keep nicked there, so. Do that and move you over that way. And then Eurygnia. Just so that guy's not running around slowing people down. Get that punk out of here. And you, we're just going to get you started on moving over this way because there's these guys over here still to deal with, as well as these guys to the south. All right, I think this will give us the Team Stripe capability here still. There you go. Enjoy that. What can we do about this sapper right now? Anything without taking uh, damage? Where's... I guess we're just gonna have to uh, deal with it for now. I mean, we can just kind of flame strike that guy, I guess. I think I'd rather take damage from this duelist than the sapper on hacker. He's kind of locked down for now. All right, we can handle it on your Regnia. That's a okay. We'll do that, and then that legionary is going to go. What I want to do is get by you. We're going to put up a shield wall because he's going to try to run through us. Another sapper. Might you be able to just kill this guy off? This guy's got every effect in the book on him. Oh, I should have right between the eyes first. That's my mistake. Always forget that's a thing you have to do at a distance. But, you know, we're good here. We'll just make sure that we target that guy before he goes on his next turn. Which he's about to go up next, so let's... Kill him off. Uh, I don't want to give that guy an excuse to run at my assassins here. That sapper is going to be going soon. And then that sapper. And then the legionary. Let's get right next to this legionary and just throw this at him. There you go, buddy. And then... That seems like a good idea, right?
All right, they're both guaranteed dead. Let's just move you back. There you go. There you go. And then we're going to move you over here so that way if you try to run back, we'll just be able to cover both angles here. Let's see. Could maybe... Well, let's see. Yeah. Get you over there. Hit this guy. Ah, oh, if we did one more point of damage, we could have wrathed him. I don't want to use laceration on that, though. Team Strike plus the uh, Surround debuff. Very nice. Now what we're going to do here uh, for strategy is move into this with the tank. Yeah, that's fine. That's, that's easy. right over here with a spear wall an aggressive spear wall this seems like a good idea plus with this rock being right here makes it so like they can both walk into it <laughs> smart but now your hacker's gonna kill you man all right that guy's just gonna run away but doesn't matter because he's dead Good old Marge. Oh, wait, wait, what? Oh my god. Well, splat. Splort. Uh, okay, well. We're gonna get hit by this no matter what. Doesn't matter. It's fine. Honestly, sad damage anyway. That mace isn't sad, though. There's Hypooner. All right, GG. What's this? Heavy armor, Legion battle plate. Okay. And then a Legion bow with the shoot order capacity. Some wood, some cloth, grease. And we need to camp. Okay, so who was it? The uh, Hypooner that we need better armor for. He can't take the heavy armor, unfortunately. All right, we need to run back to town, turn this in. Wait, does someone... It's only level four heavy armor. 
Um, but it might be better on Marge, though. Critical damage and critical hit there. 14 guard, 34 armor. And then this medium armor we could put on Hypooner. That honestly works. Yeah, that honestly works pretty well. Right up until we get a better heavy armor for uh, Marge anyway. buy all that food stuff okay don't talk to them please hello Collect that bounty. Anything new in the area? Rat infestation. I'm not interested in that right now. We got spices we can already give to you. And then the Renyan Grass Gang. We are going to tackle on our way down to Stromcap. Let's do that. No, oh, talk to them. Talk to them, please. Now they're all the way here at the edge of the edge of the world. here there we go level five can be a total of 10 enemies where's the big guy all the way down there We need to get Regit. Where are you? Okay, Regit's in play there. Hypooner's doing better on armor now, so that's good. Let's get you over here. There's only three people down here. I feel like with Regit going that way, and then we have someone right there to compliment him, maybe an assassin of some sort. Or Eurygnia. That's a good one, too. She could just hit heavy from afar poacher back there kind of a weird spread for them here but that's okay we have marge and gabna here try roll there put you there so that way you don't get targeted yeah, this is the bulk of the force right here these five so Okay, let's do this. Wowza. Can I wrath? Again, one HP shy of a wrath. But that's okay. I 
Mm, I already walked, so I can't change my attack order. Let's just do that. Now that you're dead, I know Regic can handle this Marauder pretty well, but let's move you back here. End your turn. Ow. Ah, I one or two points off of a wrath again there too. I was hoping for that. Shoot. Oh, that's okay. We can just break this up like so. Move you here like so. Spear wall like this. Path should just be able to one shot this guy. Not one shot, but definitely kill anyway. Loving that. Oh, you're going to go after them anyway? You jerk. You don't even get an attack off. Okay. Well, that's not what I was hoping for. That's what you get. We're going to go lock down this poacher out here. Hacker's a specialist at just kind of singling out archers as well from afar. Okay. He ain't going nowhere. Very well. One HP. Let's just get rid of them. Hypooner wants a kill, man. He got it. Hypooner hypooned, hypooned him. Very good. Very good. Uh, this guy up here is going next. He's still full health. Tryrule has become quite the monster. All right, Marge. Let's try your combo again. Let's taunt you. Get you over here. You're weakened. We're going to weakening blow you. Okay? Just embrace it. Embrace the suck. There you go. Now you're vulnerable. Whack. Fever right away again. Damn it, dude. Okay, so that's three attacks we've had with Marge that uh, immediately fever. Now, so if you don't know, Marge's weapon is called the Inquisition Mace. It has forceful interrogation that deals 6 to 11 damage to the target and hits again until fever is applied. Each attack increases the chance to apply this effect by 20%. Now, that's well and good, but three attacks with this already 
have made it so fever gets applied on the first attack so it's just it's just i'm having like incredibly good luck but in this way it's also bad luck because i'm doing less damage it's okay because like i could still do big damage with weakening blow weakening blow is big big damage all by itself and applies vulnerable and i wonder if vulnerable is what's making it so they can take more um if they take the fever a little bit easier i don't really know but all right job here is finished I guess next time I apply vulnerability, I'll need to take a peek at it and see if it makes it so they take status effects easier. If that's the case, then maybe Inquisition Mace is not the best there, and we just try to get a different uh, one-handed club at some point. If I can find an another way to get uh, an additional knowledge point, then perhaps we could do something about just making our own. I only have enough knowledge to get halfway there because i need two to basically make it so i can make both so if i happen to find another knowledge book then we can make that happen of course we don't really know uh, maybe i'll get knowledge from doing some of the uh other stuff all right guard 18 armor 54 on medium damn that's a lot of armor but we lose critical damage and critical hit. Oh, you know what? Um, critical hit is so low here anyway. I think that's worth it. Yeah. Shoot, who's I supposed to sell this pottery to? Spices there, pottery and Korsha. Okay, good. This also has two armor layers to it, so that's just that's kind of a no-brainer. Come on, come on. There we go. Let's talk to you lads. Pretty much always buying the wheat whenever I find a wheat. All right, is it Stromcap that wants the spices? Yes. Selling trade goes a higher price than the reference brand, so I'm to choose something. I didn't see what that was. Apples are on sale. Okay, let's go here. Some big boy bounties there. Trade Korsha. Vinchik squad. Damn. Hate when that fails. Uh, Vincar's troop. Okay. And then inform Marheim. Oh. Shoot. Okay. we need to inform you at all? No. These are the same people as... 
Afno? Afna's new. You're not new. Oh, Afna is who replaced the, uh, our most recent hire. That's why. Scoop all of these up. Thank you kindly. All right, I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I'm not. We can tackle that on our way back north. Let's go get Vincar's troop. What's your experience looking like? You're zooming. You're not zooming. You're doing okay. So Marge is our most recent hire, so that's okay. We're going to see what Vulnerable does as far as applying... Uh, status effects. If it makes them more susceptible, then that's not a great combo. And what we'll have to do from there is just keep our eyes out for another good one-handed mace. Which I'm kind of already doing anyway, just to see if we can find something that could replace it temporarily until it won't hurt to buy it just to try it. Pedra Mountain Mine. Are they going to be inside of it? Or are they up top? All right, let's camp before we go up there. There they are. I'm assuming that's them. Yes. Hello there. Level six. Okay, this is actually going to be uh, interesting. Okay, I made a save just before. If this does not go well, we can just save scum it. Level six is a little bit of a different beast here. Where's the boss man? Movement doubled. Okay, yeah, that's terrifying. Where's Regit? Okay, Regit can make it over to him. We'll just have to wait, he should be able to kill him as well. Uh, that's going to be a very terrifying aspect to have to deal with. All right, we have <laughs> three tanks right here. I feel like we should probably bring them over here. At least one of them. I don't think I'm going to be able to outstrength anyone with uh, Kath here. Maybe get on this side of things. Yeah, this is going to be quite damning. Okay, first things first, though. Regit must take this guy out. Mandatory. All right. Their movement is no longer doubled. These five, I would think, can handle these three. I would think. So we're going to move Regit back this direction a little bit, slowly but surely.
We need to get you a better heavy armor soon. Oh, I moved you too far. That was a uh, stupid play. All right, that puts Trirel in a weird spot when it comes to that Lieutenant right there. Okay, vulnerability. Next attack suffered will be a critical hit. So it guarantees a critical hit. Um, but. Damn. It doesn't say anything about, like, uh, increasing chance of status effects. Yeah, that's what I was worried about there. Hold on, who's going next? That foot soldier. And that foot soldier. Okay, I think we need to get Kath in here. Oh, and she does outstrength him, so that's cool. Give the weakening blow. And then let's go ahead and uh, put on deflection. This failing soldier has fragility. Um. Let's get poison on those guys. Get additional poison on you. That guy's stuck with the tank. And we're gonna have two turns to... Who is this? Oh, that foot soldier there. And then you're all the way over here, yeah? That lieutenant? All right. get you right here and just take those stacks yeah there's uh that deflection good stuff all right mr hypooner i don't know if we want to use hypooner that foot soldier's gonna go next they're gonna go for calf That lieutenant's going to end up going. Let's see. Let's get you here. Let's give the laceration as well. We, have, we could just wrath this guy after this and just eliminate him. There we go. Yeah. I feel like I made a good choice there because that eliminates one person from the, the queue. And then who's going to be their next guy? That foot soldier there. Okay, that's okay. Uh, that one's going to be up soon too. Get that disengaged there. Let's see about... Hmm. I want to protect Nick from this foot soldier here who's probably going to go after him. Let's put you here and then spear wall like so. If he happens to go that way, he'll get caught in it. He might get caught it there too. I don't really know, but that this is for the best. So that way Nick doesn't take heat.
can get Silo and finish this phalanx soldier off right here. We just throw this from behind. That just returns the, uh, the point there. Okay. Let's get Hypooner over here as well, next to everybody. Or maybe, like, right next to you? Let's get a bleed started on this guy. Oh, that that's I couldn't ask for anything better. There's two people over here left. These guys can absolutely handle it. Um, hopefully we have enough movement to get away. We should. I don't see why we wouldn't here, but let's put a little fire on you. Go ahead and backstab this guy. And then move behind you here. Let's smoke screen for the free damage. May as well. And that big knockback. I forgot about that effect too. Damn, Kath is such a tank. I'm in love with it, dude. And this, we can just kind of go over here. Let's definitely taunt, so that way Tryro's no longer the target there. Let's hit you with the weakening blow. And let's try this forceful interrogation again. Yeah, okay, so I think Fever just automatically gets applied on a crit. I think that's just what it does. I think it's just the way it is, so... We definitely need to change that mace out for something else. It's a good idea in premise, but it just doesn't really help the situation when it comes to applying damage on vulnerability. It's not a good go. It's just too low of damage. That guy can actually get a lot of damage in if we leave him alive. I just realized he can hit all three of these guys for free right now. That guy didn't even move. What? All right, yeah, let's just get you right in here. Get the big boy damage in. Crit, please. No? I mean, that's still good damage. Why didn't you attack? Okay, we have time here before this guy goes. So let's see who's going next on their team. All right, that lieutenant down there. That's not so bad. Let's get rid of this foot soldier. Let's apply a weakening blow to somebody too. Get right in front of you. Clunk. Because they're engaged, maybe we get hackered over here. Uh, I'm going to move Hacker all the way to the side, so that way he doesn't take damage from this Lieutenant. I fear that Lieutenant right now. 
That guy's not moving. I'm not sure what the deal is. But okay, we have to take this guy out now because he's going to get a turn soon. Let's go ahead and forceful interrogate you. Oh my god. It just fevered first strike. Alright, well I have to kill you this turn, so... Yeah, I'm not liking this Inquisition mace. I It's just... it. <laughs> It's a, I guess it's really good luck, but it's just like 20% of the time and it's hitting every first go. It's so strange to me. That's the lowest damage I've ever seen Eurigenia do, but that's the 40 guard speaking. Okay, who's going next? This foot soldier, and then that phalanx soldier. Hmm. Okay, you still have that up. It's a good hit there. I feel like this is uh hmm. I think this is gonna be okay. I think it's gonna be okay. He no longer has any guard as well. Yeah, that's fine. Path is built for this right now, man. All right, we are all sorts of out of Valor points now. Well, plus one, I guess. All right, this guy's going to be going in a minute, so... Oh, you really just did that, huh? I was not expecting that move. Okay. guaranteed crit so it's only gonna take them down that much let's just save this point <laughs> three damage nice Yeah, let's put that point there. We gain it back anyhow. 
Regits. You know, uh, I found that Regit's always really great at just kind of taking out the boss right away at the beginning of every fight, but then he's often just kind of missing throughout the rest of it. Feels bad. Not a big deal because he definitely does his, you know, does his duty. Ooh, nice. All right, this failing soldier is going to be going in a moment. I say we just try to kill him off. 1723. That ain't going to do it. I could weakening blow him, I guess. And then I guess we move like right here. So that way we're more targeted on Kath here. Let's take Regit right down to this Lieutenant and just smash his face in. Okay, we gained a point and used a point there. Um, we're just going to keep our last point. Want to keep the last point in case of something uh, big. Like if we need an emergency heal or something, you know? Might you be able to kill this guy? Very nice. All right, so with this level six stuff, I feel like we're just kind of winning based on pure numbers. Damn, 79 on that. That's nuts. There you go, pal. There you go. I forgot about this person out here. I'm not going to lie. Uh, you can't swing without hurting Tri-Roll. So let's move Tri-Roll away. Um, well, maybe we just finish off with the Originia. There we go. That's better. One, two, three. That's the play. You run over here, you stab the man. Good game. That's the good stuff right there. Now we have level six armors here, medium and heavy. So this is actually really great. Um, let's go ahead and see who we can place these on. Let's check out first and foremost, our big tank, Kath. All right, you have warriors reinforced layer there, 22 guards, 64 armor. That one's a little bit better, but we'll lose uh, the warrior's reinforced layer, which is plus two strength. And strength is kind of big on her. So we're going to leave that as is. 22 guard, 64 armor would be 25, 67 armor. We can just go ahead and put that on our one of our other tanks here. Who hasn't? Yeah, that's level five. Where's our other tank? Marge. 19 and 38. Yeah, let's give it to Marge. Damn. 
Very, very good there. Very, very good there. That's actually good because that one was only level four anyway. That makes sense. And then this is level six medium armor. 1868. Okay. I feel like it would go best on Uralai. I think these are the only two, two people that use medium. Hypooner and Uralai. That's 18% 54. Thing is, they both have two armor layers, but I haven't made use of them yet. Let's go ahead and put it on Hypooner. 1854. 1750. Um, uh, just because he has such a smaller amount of health, I feel like that just makes sense for now. Good stuff, though. Good stuff. Now we can make our way down to Korsha. Right? That's where we want to go? We're headed that way? Yeah. But for now, guys, uh, this is an another very long video. We're going to go ahead and make a save here. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, we're actually making huge strides in progress with our uh, with our mercenary band here. Uh, everyone's becoming insanely strong. And now we're encountering level six groups, which means that if the rolls are right, we can upgrade armors to a point, uh, armors and weapons to a point where uh, we're going to be so insanely prepared for the new content that we're going to be able to really just decimate things and i'm looking forward to doing that with that said thank you guys for leaving likes and comments on the video it helps it out so much and i love it when you do it thank you so much i really appreciate it and of course if you haven't subscribed yet you should do that so that way you don't miss any of the future stuff you'll be able to see our entire library of stuff already whether you're subbed or not feel free to go ahead and watch there's lots of great stuff in this game series as well as tons of other stuff on the channel in general anyways guys i'm out of here thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon for more